Greetings, and welcome back to the channel as we continue to delve into the world of science fiction cinema. Today, we'll look at the genre films from the years 1925 and 1926. These years stand at a significant juncture in the history of cinema, at a time when the medium was on the cusp of transformation. It was an era of innovation, cultural upheaval, and scientific curiosity, a potent blend that laid the foundation for the remarkable science fiction films that emerged during this time. As we embark on a journey through the cinema of this time, we explore a world where silent films reign supreme, where the boundaries of visual storytelling were pushed to their limits, and where the spirit of exploration and imagination ignited the silver screen. Through a lens that encompasses history, culture, and the scientific zeitgeist, we will unravel the stories of four remarkable films, Our Heavenly Bodies, The Lost World, The Death Ray, and Paris Kidor. These films not only entertained, but also captured the spirit of their time, reflecting the curiosity, wonder, and aspirations of an era poised on the brink of discovery and transformation. Join us as we journey through a transformative period in cinematic history and explore the enduring legacy of these pioneering works of science fiction. Though the focus of this series is on fictionalized films as well as the influence culture has on the sci-fi genre, I briefly want to step away from fiction to focus on an early German science documentary, Wunder der Schöpfung, also known as Our Heavenly Bodies. This is an example of a Kultur film and was a movement in German cinema during the early 20th century. This cinematic movement emphasized films that aimed to educate, inform, Kultur film productions typically focused on documentary-style content, often presenting topics related to art, science, nature, travel, and other aspects of culture and society. Our Heavenly Bodies, from 1925, stands as a cinematic marvel of the time, offering viewers a breathtaking journey through the cosmos that is as relevant today as it was nearly a century ago. This groundbreaking film, directed by Hans Walter Kornblum and Ernest Krieger, holds a unique place in the cinema landscape of this time. The film takes viewers on a mesmerizing journey through the wonders of the universe, providing a comprehensive and imaginative portrayal of the cosmos as understood in early 20th century. It combines elements of science, speculative fiction, and visual effects to convey a sense of wonder and awe about the universe and humanity's place within it. Our Heavenly Bodies is divided into five parts, each addressing a specific aspect of the universe. The beginning, the earth, the human, the cosmos, and the beyond. Through a combination of live-action footage, animation, and intricate model work, the film explores topics such as the formation of the solar system, the evolution of life on Earth, and the possibilities of space travel. One of the film's standout features is its visual effects, which were revolutionary for the time. It employed innovative techniques to depict celestial bodies, astronomical phenomenon, and futuristic visions of space exploration. I was pleasantly surprised to find a film like this so early in film history. I love a good educational documentary. Our Heavenly Bodies was not only an ambitious educational documentary, but also a testament to the fascination with science and the cosmos during the early 20th century. It captured the spirit of the era's interest in scientific discovery and human exploration. And just a quick side note before we get to the fiction films of this time. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more sci-fi content. Your support means a lot as this new channel continues to grow. While 1926 may not have been a landmark year for science fiction cinema, the preceding year saw the emergence of several noteworthy films. These not only left a lasting impact on future directors like Steven Spielberg, 
and the pioneers of the French New Wave in the 1950s, but also showcased innovative editing techniques that continue to shape modern filmmaking today. The Lost World from 1925 was directed by Harry O. Hoyt. This is an adaptation of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's novel of the same name. It features pioneering stop-motion animation by Willis O'Brien, who would later become famous for his work on King Kong in 1933. It laid the foundation for the development of stop-motion animation techniques in the years to come, as well as the world's love of the dinosaur genre. To create this dinosaur-filled world, the filmmakers used intricate miniature sets and models. These miniatures combined with stop-motion animation gave the film its impressive visual effects. In addition to stop-motion animation, live animals were used for certain scenes, such as the close-up shots of an iguana representing a dinosaur. Mechanical models were also employed to achieve specific movements and actions. Director Harry O'Hoyt was committed to making the film as realistic as possible within the technical limitations of the time. He consulted with experts on paleontology and sought advice to ensure the film's accuracy in portraying dinosaurs and prehistoric life. The film tells the story of an expedition led by the eccentric Professor Challenger, who claims that dinosaurs still exist in a remote, unexplored area of South America. He assembles a team of explorers and scientists, including a journalist, to accompany him on this daring journey. As they embark on their expedition, the group encounters various prehistoric creatures, including dinosaurs like the Brontosaurus and Triceratops. The film showcases the adventurers' encounters with these creatures and their struggle for survival in this hostile environment. This was such an enjoyable film to watch. It is nice to see a change of scenery, with the film taking place mostly outdoors, but also who doesn't love some cool dinosaurs, even when they are wreaking havoc once back in civilization. Luck Smirti, or The Death Ray, is a silent Soviet science fiction film released in 1925 directed by Lev Kuleshov. This film is notable for its innovative visual effects and its exploration of the theme of a powerful, destructive invention. Unfortunately, much of this film, mainly the first and last reels, are considered lost. This makes following the plot quite difficult, and most of what I found interesting about this film were the visuals from famed Soviet filmmaker and theorist Lev Kuleshov. There is very little in the way of science fiction in the available footage, so I must rely on sources for information about the plot, as well as its significance in the sci-fi genre. The plot revolves around a scientist who invented a powerful weapon known as the Death Ray. The weapon falls into the wrong hands, an unnamed evil capitalist country. The film follows those who try to acquire the weapon and is said to be a combination of the science fiction and thriller genres. One of the film's notable aspects is its use of visual effects to depict the powerful death ray, which was achieved through the creative filmmaking techniques of the time. The film's visual style and inventive special effects were groundbreaking for its era and contributed to its reputation as a notable work in early Soviet cinema. Kuleshov, known for his development in montage techniques, used this film to demonstrate the power of editing and montage to create meaning and emotion in film. Paris Kidor, also known as The Crazy Ray, is a 1925 French science fiction film that is a mix of sci-fi and comedy, directed by René Clair. This film is known for its imaginative and surreal premise and its innovative approach to storytelling. The story revolves around a bizarre and extraordinary event that occurs in Paris one night. A mad scientist invents a device that emits a mysterious ray, and when it's unleashed over the city one night, it freezes everyone and everything in the city into a state of suspended animation. Only a small group of individuals who happen to be high above the city at the time of the activation of the ray remained unaffected. This diverse group includes a thief, a taxi driver, an American millionaire, a young woman, and the scientist's own daughter. They find themselves in the city where time has stopped, and they are free to roam the frozen streets. This film combines elements of science fiction, comedy, and social commentary. It explores themes of isolation, human nature, 
and the consequences of scientific discovery. Renee Claire's direction and storytelling style add an element of wit and satire to the narrative. Utilizing inventive use of special effects, such as stop-motion animation, to create the illusion of a frozen Paris, the director also used freeze-frame techniques that were relatively new to cinema at the time. I quite enjoyed this low-budget film and its use of creative filmmaking techniques to tell the story, and it is interesting to see the beginning elements of the French New Wave that became popular in the 1950s. During the years 1925 and 1926, there were several notable science fiction novels, short stories, and pulp magazine publications. These stories from the middle part of the decade contributed to the developments of the genre and reflected the speculative themes of the era. Some influenced or were directly adapted into future feature films. Metropolis by Thea von Harbu. This novel, published in Germany in 1925 and the United States in 1927, serves as the literary precursor to the iconic 1927 science fiction film of the same name, set in a futuristic, dystopian city where the wealthy elite enjoy opulence, while the working class toils under the oppressive conditions, the novel explores themes of class struggle, technology, and the human spirit's yearning for freedom. It delves into the lives of key characters, including the wealthy industrialist and the revolutionary Maria, whose paths intersect in a tale of love, rebellion, and the pursuit of social justice against the backdrop of a visually striking and meticulously realized metropolis. The Moon Maid by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Published in novel form in 1926, Burroughs explores a future Earth where humans have established colonies on the moon and face various challenges, including alien civilizations. The first issue of Amazing Stories. 1926 marked the birth of modern science fiction magazines and played a pivotal role in the genre's development. Edited by Hugo Gernsback, it featured a diverse collection of stories, ranging from tales of space exploration to encounters with advanced civilizations, igniting readers' imaginations and laying the foundation for a new era of speculative storytelling. When looking at science fiction history, it is important to understand what else was going on in the world. So let's look at some historical and cultural events that occurred in these years. First off, the significant historical events of this period that left a lasting impact on society. The Scopes Monkey Trial In July 1925, the famous Scopes Monkey Trial took place in Dayton, Tennessee. It was a landmark legal case that pitted the teaching of evolution against religious fundamentalism in American schools. General Strike in the United Kingdom A major strike occurred in the United Kingdom in 1926. The strike was called by various trade unions in support of coal miners. It resulted in significant labor unrest and economic disruptions. It was the largest dispute in British history. This period was marked by significant artistic events and movements in various forms of art, literature, and music. These movements and their creators would leave an indelible mark on society even felt today. Salvador Dali's Artistic Debut the renowned surrealist artist Salvador Dali held his first solo exhibition in Barcelona in 1925, showcasing his distinctive and eccentric style. Dali would go on to become one of the world's most iconic figures in the surrealist movement. Publication of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This iconic work, often considered one of America's greatest novels, was published in 1925. It captures the spirit of the Roaring Twenties and explores themes of wealth, ambition, and the American dream. Ernest Hemingway's first novel. Ernest Hemingway's debut novel, The Sun Also Rises, was published in 1926. Hemingway would go on to become one of the most influential American authors of the 20th century. And now for a few scientific and technical discoveries made in this time. The Schrodinger Equation. Developed in 1925 by physicist Erwin Schrodinger, it is a mathematical tool used to understand how tiny particles, such as electrons, move and behave in the quantum world. 
It incorporates a wave function to describe these particles, wave-like behavior, and helps scientists predict their locations and actions in the realm of quantum physics. In 1926, Erwin Hubble made a groundbreaking discovery in astronomy when he provided evidence that the universe is expanding. By studying distant galaxies and observing their redshift, Hubble demonstrated that galaxies were moving away from each other, revealing the expansion of the universe. This discovery revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos and laid the foundation for the Big Bang Theory. Robert Goddard's First Liquid-Fueled Rocket Flight On March 16, 1926, physicist and engineer Robert Goddard conducted the world's first successful flight of a liquid-fueled rocket in Auburn, Massachusetts. This marked a crucial step in the development of modern rocketry and some famous science fiction storytellers and creators who were born in this time. Anne McCaffrey, born April 1, 1926. Anne McCaffrey's influence on the science fiction genre can be summarized as one of pioneering the science fantasy through her beloved Dragon Riders of Pern series, which blended elements of both science fiction and fantasy, inspiring future authors to explore similar genre combinations. Paul Anderson, born November 25, 1926. Paul Anderson's influence on science fiction can be summarized as his prolific contributions to the genre, which ranged from hard science fiction to speculative fiction, exploring complex themes and inspiring subsequent generations of writers to delve into imaginative storytelling. In these years, Hollywood solidified its status as the epicenter of the global film industry, with major studios like MGM, Warner Brothers, and Paramount producing a substantial portion of the world's films. These years marked a period of increasing dominance by Hollywood studios and the continued evolution of silent cinema as the dominant medium, with the advent of sound in film just on the horizon. Here are some of the significant films released in these years. From 1925, The Gold Rush. Directed by and starring Charlie Chaplin, this is a silent comedy masterpiece that follows Chaplin's iconic tramp character as he ventures to the Klondike in search of gold during the Yukon Gold Rush. This film expertly blends humor and heart, delivering a timeless narrative that explores themes of loneliness, resilience, and the pursuit of dreams in the harsh backdrop of the wilderness. Ben-Hur The 1925 silent film adaptation of Ben-Hur is an epic historical drama directed by Fred Niblo. This cinematic spectacle tells the story of Judah Ben-Hur, a Jewish nobleman who seeks revenge against a childhood friend who betrays him, all set against the backdrop of ancient Rome and featuring the iconic chariot race sequence. The Phantom of the Opera. Directed by Rupert Julian, this is a landmark silent horror film that tells the haunting tale of a deformed composer who haunts the Paris Opera House. Lon Chaney's iconic portrayal of the disfigured phantom remains one of cinema's most enduring and chilling performances, making this a classic of the genre. The Big Parade. Directed by King Vidor, this is a groundbreaking war film that follows the journey of an American soldier during World War I. With its realistic portrayal of the horrors of war and a touching love story, the film becomes a critical and commercial success, leaving an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape of the 1920s. Battleship Potemkin Directed by Sergei Eisenstein, this landmark silent film tells the story of a mutiny aboard a Russian battleship and the subsequent violent suppression by the Tsarist regime. Known for its innovative and influential use of montage editing, it remains a powerful and enduring work of cinema, often regarded as one of the greatest films ever made. And from 1926, The General. Directed by Buster Keaton and Clyde Bruckman, this silent comedy combines thrilling action sequences with Keaton's trademark deadpan humor. The film tells the story of a Confederate engineer played by Keaton who embarks on a daring mission to rescue his beloved locomotive, the General, during the American Civil War, resulting in a timeless classic of silent cinema, Faust. 
directed by F.W. Murnau. This adaptation of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe's classic tale, it tells the story of a struggling alchemist who makes a pact with the devil in exchange for worldly pleasures. With groundbreaking special effects and atmospheric cinematography that still captivates audiences today. These years saw several notable technological advancements and innovations in filmmaking, which contributed to the evolution of the film industry. Here are some key developments from that period. The Vitaphone System Developed by Warner Brothers in a collaboration with Western Electric, this played a pivotal role in the success of the jazz singer and the adoption of synchronized sound in films. It utilized phonograph records to synchronize sound with film a significant advancement in early sound technology. Editing techniques. Editing techniques continue to evolve with filmmakers experimenting with montage and other innovations. The Soviet montage movement pioneered by filmmakers like Sergei Eisenstein and Lev Kuleshov emphasized the power of editing to convey meaning and emotion. The rise of genres. In the mid-1920s, Hollywood witnessed the rapid rise of distinct film genres that laid the foundation for cinematic storytelling as we know it today. This era marked the emergence of genres such as romantic comedies, horror films, and science fiction, as filmmakers began to experiment with narrative styles and thematic elements. Silent film stars like Charlie Chaplin and Lon Chaney helped popularize these genres, captivating audiences with their unique talents and diverse roles, while studios like Universal Pictures and MGM played a pivotal role in producing and promoting genre-specific films, solidifying the trend towards specialized storytelling in Hollywood. These genres would become even more distinctive in Hollywood in the 1930s and 40s. These films ushered in a new era of cinematic innovation. Our heavenly bodies pushed the boundaries of visual effects, utilizing animation and practical techniques to depict celestial phenomena in ways previously unimagined. The Lost World introduced the groundbreaking use of stop-motion animation to bring prehistoric creatures to life, a technique that would go on to revolutionize the world of visual effects. The Death Ray employed visual storytelling techniques to explore the ethical consequences of scientific discovery, and Paris Kidur demonstrated the power of cinema to freeze time and evoke a sense of wonder. The technical achievements of these films set a precedent for the future of science fiction cinema, influencing generations of filmmakers and inspiring the development of new visual storytelling techniques. Elements of these films can be seen in later classics like Metropolis, King Kong, and the sci-fi epics of the modern era, showcasing how their innovations continue to shape the cinematic landscape. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos about the history of science fiction cinema. In the next episode, I'll cover the year 1927, from the juxtaposition between silent-era classic Metropolis and the dawn of sound in film.